That was a daggum limb, y'all. So this is part two of this tree job in here, the emergency tree job. This is the big behemoth one. And I guarantee you it's over six foot on the butt. I'm gonna start working these limbs back, the ones that I can do by myself. I may be able to do this whole tree by myself. I'm just gonna take my time on it, just work it and cut what I can cut. If I can, I'll just wait till Chris is off and we'll come out here and wrap it up. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these limbs out that I know I can get to get this weight off of this thing. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just kind of cut these and let them hinge straight down. I'm not gonna undercut them in. Cause I want them to go straight down. Just like that. The pole saw works so well doing this stuff up in the air like this. See, all three of them landed right there, flat, in a line, if you can see them, just right. And, uh, and that, like I said, that's without undercutting them. That's just coming straight down and letting them fold down. These red oaks, the, the fiber on them holds really well. So we're going to go on up. And you just work them one limb at a time, like I said before. That's all you can do. All right, we're all the way up on the stick boom now. The cool thing about the lift is, is there ain't no need in reaching when you get right on. So I'm set up way away from the tree right now. I'm actually set up in the driveway. Just gonna reach as far as I can and work this on the outskirts on this side. Then I'll move the lift on up closer to the tree. And yeah, cause the name of the game is just do not hit the lift. Cause it's very easy to do. See, it swings down back at the tree right there, away from the house. That was a pretty good sized limb right there. We're about to make a uh, big cut here. I've got the 400 up here with me. Is uh, what I'm gonna make the big cuts with. 25 inch bar. I'm gonna square ground chain on it now. That's what's on it. So uh, let's see how this will work. I'm not gonna notch it. I'm just gonna undercut it. It's all I'm gonna do because these big limbs here. I don't want it to I don't want it to lean down none. I want it when it when it frees, I want it to go straight down flat. And if you won't notch it, it'll uh, it'll do that.
can see that in the video or not right there but it went it went straight down this could be see it laying flat right there is just straight down just what it does is when it cl curve closes sitting there resting on it then all you got to do is cut the rest of the hinge what would be the hinge and when you cut it then it just slices right off of it goes straight down all right i'm about to make another big cut on this one, we're gonna do it the same way we'll undercut it pretty deep as deep as i can You see how it went it went just a little bit tip started drifting down on it just a little bit but it primarily hit flat for the most part all right so this one here i'm gonna catch it it's right over the edge of the patio and i'm just gonna catch it and let it bang on and i'll take care of it from there then Set the hung up in the other lean over there. That was not supposed to happen, y'all. Come on, man. Set the sucker. All right, so I'll just do this then. I need about another foot of reach here is what I need, man. We've got her. See it held them, kept them from hitting that patio and the plants and everything over there. So now I can work them on down now. <laughs>
That didn't turn a little bit on me because I didn't cut it quite as deep as I did them other two. You need to cut them about get close to halfway if you can. And I was outside my cut too. I lined up on it right. So, so we're going on up. <laughs> and hang on just a second. About to set one of my pulleys. I call it a pulley. Some people call them blocks, you know, but I call them a pulley. <laughs> I'm about to sit. I got two of them in here. I've got my medium size one, uh, which is this one. And I think this one hold. It's a uh, working load uh, 40 kilonewtons. Uh, the MVS on it's 200 kilonewtons. So a kilonewton is uh, 225 pounds. So roughly hold. 40 something thousand pounds and then I got a big one. It's even bigger than that one. That one right there is about 400 bucks. This other one right here is about, it's about 600 bucks. It's a show enough hoss. It'll hold about 60,000 pounds. So I'm fixing to put one of these up here in it. Let's see what it's rated at. You can see it. Yeah, MBS is 300 kilonewtons. Pulse. So anywho, and then I've got another one of those medium ones that I just got. They marked them down every now and then, and they had them here not too long ago for 20% uh, off. So I jumped on it because they're they're very handy to have. These suckers out of the way, and I'm gonna set one of them. Got my 5H rope, got large porter wrap down below. And we're fixing to rope some of these limbs. So I was not sure where I was going to tie in up here. So that's the reason why I brought the other one. This this sling right here has got the eyes on. I forget what they call these, but these are real handy because they're real quick to set and get them fixed up here because they just choked the tree and then I had the other one on the dead eye and you put a timber hitch or a cow hitch on it so this one here and this uh, this one here is on here and it's ready to go let's see what it looks like right there i'm gonna put this tail up out of the way over here looping around behind it so it don't get caught in or anything all right, so we're going to be working with a 5-8 stable braid today. I'm not going to be using a half inch. I want something that got a little bit more meat on it because these limbs are, are hosses. So uh, I've got this end dropped down over here. This is the working end that'll be on the limbs. And then this one here is going to go back to the porter out. So there's not a lot of limbs on this thing. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to work these over here on the house first because the tree is leaning that way. I'm going to take that weight off first. These over here, I can just bomb them out of the tree, let them go down in the yard they're fine but i'm gonna keep them for balance over here on this far side and then uh uh we'll just make cuts and i'll just have to go up and down which is no big deal with the with the lift here You see how it just kind of gently just kind of eased down and once it closed and it broke and it's, so it's hanging there till I go down there and let it down now. That's a big limb too, man. Yeah, that's a good
So this is great showing how a porter at works. We'll take one more wrap off of it. See that? It's just a friction device. So, so I can just drop this one. I just undercut it and I wanted to go as straight down as I can so that's the reason why I don't have it notched or anything it's gonna drop right on those sticks uh, down there on the ground I uh, undercut it with the 540 I'm running the one with the 14 inch bar the chain on that thing is uh, pretty much gone I need to put another chain on I got one in the truck and next time I get down I may stick one on it but we're gonna make the finish cut with the 400 as flat can be man that thing just playing it just as pretty perfect now i'm gonna put the rope on that big one there and we're gonna that's gonna be my next victim that's a that's a big limb right there go up we're gonna finish it with the pole saw kind of where we out of the way of it take much to cut it. That's some weight right there, dude. On, that, on all that gear, that's the reason why I stepped up to that 5 8 rope. How tight it's got that rope pulled right there. That's a heck of a limb. That limb probably weighs 3,000 pounds right there or so you can see i didn't have to cut it much man just a little bit i'd already scored it all on the other side with the battery saw and then just finish it over here a little bit with the top panel i mean with the pole saw so i'm fixing to cut some more limbs just drop them while i'm up here and before i come down but that rope is so tight right there where it's holding that limb y'all just seen me cut it's just sitting there holding it so i'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, this one and just drop it. I got a good drop zone right there and we'll probably get that one right there too while I'm up here and go ahead and bomb them.
tell it by the way the sound it made right there too. This one's not as big. I've already got it notched. You can see, we'll cut it with the uh, pole saw and then go in there and let it down. Keep moving, let it go. Slam back in the tree. Looks like we missed the house by about a foot. And like a uh, tree strider says, if it fits, it ships, man. It's my, it's my outlook on it too. The bigger pieces you can, you can let go, uh, the uh, quicker it gets done. I'm getting it. There we got another billion rig tied off. It actually could drop this one without tying it, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna do it this way. That was a daggum limb, y'all. That was a hoss. That's some mega momentum. You can see it standing up right beside the tree, just like it's supposed to be. to meet perfectly right there. She's ready to uh, put the rope on it now. So we got another pretty good one right here. I could actually about drop this one without having to uh, rig it, but uh, I'll, when I'm close to the house, I like to be on the safe side here. Cause man, them limbs can do some crazy stuff. Let's see here. I think. I'm gonna cut it with a pole saw, I believe. It ain't gonna take much to cut it either, because I about I cut a big chunk in it there when I gotta get between my rope. Okay. That was, that might have been, I don't know, that was a big limb. Laying right there against the tree again, just like it's supposed to be. It actually has so much momentum, you could probably hear it breaking some of the limbs as it crashed into the tree down there. It broke some of the limbs on it that were, you know, sticking out. I've got it scored 
We'll get away from this rope a little bit, cut it with the pole, so. heavy they get a lot of momentum and they be rolling boy when they come down at least this one's on this side of the tree i grab it the mini pretty easy that's not what i'm doing once i get down i just grab it the mini take a couple wraps off the poor wrap hole one in it and take off with it and pull it on down all right it's a smaller one i'm just gonna cut it with the battery saw Gotta get out to it a little bit further. Show y'all what we got going on. So the road's hooked to the mini there. It goes over there to a redirect on that big oak over there. And it comes all the way up. And it's up here in the top up above me up there. See so it tied in. So I'm fixing to notch this thing right here to land right over in there where the brownest grass is. That's where I want it to land at. The top's got lean in it going over there, but uh, the wind's blowing this way too. And I just didn't want to take no chances. So when I put the rope up in it just you know insurance everything's went pretty dang good thus far and I don't want to screw up my <laughs> thus far so uh, I'm about to uh, notch it and see what it'll do so the wind is coming kind of this way which is okay. That'll be alright. I got that road. Got a little bit of tension on it too, so. Again, you need to make that notch make perfect for it to work right. If it's got bypass in it, say you cut back and it's got bypass in it back to there, the curve is. Well, this here is irrelevant then. It means absolutely nothing because when it starts pivoting, when the curve closes right here, then it's gonna pop it back in. So when you've got it perfect like it right there, come up to it the hinge is going to work the way it's supposed to and this one here when it when this meets this then it's going to pop that hinge and she's on for the ride then
I'm gonna let y'all watch this whole thing here. I'm gonna score it on this far side. I've got it marked where I can see where I need to be. I got it scored and marked right there where I can see where I need to be. Make it back some. So I'm sitting here, I'm feeling this bar in this tree. A lot of times you'll see me in the videos, you'll see me sliding the bar a little bit. What I'm doing, I'm feeling that thing. I'm watching the curve and I'm feeling the resistance on it. And man, that, that tells me so much about my cut, what's going on with it and everything. Just like it's supposed to, y'all. See you where it landed right here. There's a cut. Pretty nice. See that? That was 14 inch bar. See, it didn't, it wasn't quite going all the way across. Landed there perfectly. Okay. Uh, let's see. I gotta move a boat over here now. <laughs> I gotta get that boat moved, y'all. Yeah. I was gonna move it earlier and I was just gonna take it and shove it backwards, but that's one that's got the, it's got surge brakes, but it's also got some kind of locker thingy on it. And I could pull it forward, but I couldn't go backwards. So I'm fixing to make me a loop in the yard with it and get it over there out of the way. Since I got that down over there. And then I can bomb each one of these limbs here and that'll be over with for them. 